The universe is stretching. It expands like a vast, silent tide, not outward into something, but within itself, pulling space further and further apart. It has no edge we can point to and no center we can stand upon. It grows everywhere at once, endlessly, relentlessly, like a heartbeat older than time. And now, for the first time in history, we are able to witness that expansion with clarity. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has opened a window into distances once hidden behind darkness and age. Astronomers, researchers, thinkers like Brian Cox, have used Webb to measure the scale of the cosmos in ways previous generations could only imagine. What we see is only a sliver. A fraction. A keyhole view into something potentially infinite. Inside the portion we can observe, scientists estimate around 2 trillion galaxies. Each galaxy containing billions of stars, planets, moons, comets, and unknown worlds. And that is only what our instruments can currently detect. Beyond that horizon may lie a universe too large to picture, perhaps too large to ever fully comprehend. We are not observers standing apart from this immensity. We are participants inside it. As Carl Sagan once expressed, we are the universe, thinking about itself. Every new photograph from JWST pushes that awareness further. To understand the scale, we must start with something familiar. At just 70 miles per hour, a person could drive around Earth's equator in roughly two weeks. At that speed, reaching the moon would take five months. Reaching Mars, at its closest, would take over 60 years. Reaching Neptune would take more than 4,000 years even our fastest spacecraft struggle. Voyager 1 launched in 1977 and still racing through space at 38,000 miles per hour, required 35 years to finally break free of the solar system. And yet, light, the fastest thing we know, circles Earth seven times every second. But even light needs years, centuries, or millennia to travel between stars. Our solar system is a grain of dust compared to the Milky Way, which holds hundreds of billions of stars each potentially hosting planets of its own. The nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, lies 4.3 light years away, a journey of around 70,000 years using Voyager's current speed. The numbers grow impossibly large. Look at Betelgeuse, the red supergiant in Orion. It sits roughly 640 light years away, meaning we see it as it was back in the early medieval age. Our radio transmissions, humanity's first electronic footprint, have only traveled about 100 years outward, forming a communications bubble just 200 light years across. Barely a drop inside the Milky Way's ocean of stars. Shrink our entire solar system to the size of a coin, and the Milky Way becomes the size of Earth. Beyond it lie galaxies beyond counting, a trillion and more. Our closest galactic neighbor, Andromeda, is 2.5 million light years away and holds about 1 trillion stars of its own. It is moving toward us, and in several billion years will merge with the Milky Way. Yet even during that cosmic collision, stars are so widely spaced that most may pass by each other untouched. Zooming out further, we enter our local group, then the Virgo cluster with over 1,500 galaxies and finally the Laniakea supercluster, containing more than 100,000 galaxies. But this is only the visible shape. Cosmologists believe the whole observable universe may contain around 10 million superclusters, arranged not randomly but woven together into the cosmic web, a network of dark matter, gas, galaxies, and gravity stretching for billions of light years. Galaxies cling to these filaments like sparks on metal wires. Between those filaments lie cosmic voids, enormous, quiet expanses that appear empty but may someday birth new galaxies as matter slowly drifts into them over cosmic time. The voids are not endings, they are beginnings waiting to ignite. Stars are born in cold nebulae, vast clouds of gas and dust drifting in the dark. Gravity gathers material grain by grain, 
pulling the chaos inward until pressure builds, heat rises, and at last, fusion ignites. A star opens its eyes. For millions or billions of years it burns with steady light, forging heavier elements in its core. Hydrogen becomes helium, helium becomes carbon, oxygen, silicon, iron, the alphabet of matter. And when its fuel runs out, it collapses and explodes as a supernova, casting these elements across space like seeds thrown into fertile soil. From that debris, new stars form. New planets take shape. Water condenses. Chemistry awakens. Life begins. Every atom inside your body, the calcium in your bones, the iron in your blood, the oxygen in your lungs, was once forged inside a dead star. We are literally made of stardust. We are the ashes of cosmic fire, rebuilt into something that can dream. And at the heart of most galaxies, including our own, there hides a supermassive black hole, silent, invisible, yet impossibly powerful. Millions, even billions of times heavier than the sun, it bends space like fabric and time like thread. It does not merely sit, it sculpts. Stars dance around it. Galaxies take shape because of it. When matter falls into its gravity, it releases energy more brilliant than anything we can imagine. Sometimes, that power turns a galaxy into a quasar, a beacon blazing brighter than trillions of suns. Its light travels across ages, crossing time itself to reach our telescopes. These signals are ancient messages, relics from a universe still young, still forming, still unfolding itself into structure and meaning. And yet, we stand on the edge of knowledge with one question echoing across thought and time. What lies beyond our sight? There are galaxies so distant their light will never reach us. Space stretches faster than photons can cross it, pushing those realms forever away, real, yet unreachable. To them, we are ghosts. To us, they are legends we may never witness. Perhaps the universe is hundreds of times larger than what we can map. Perhaps it is endless, no borders, no boundary to touch with thought or science. If so, then everything we know, all of human history, the Milky Way, every star visible in the night sky, is smaller than a single grain of sand against an infinite desert. Imagine countless other regions of space, each with galaxies, stars, planets, and maybe life. We see only a tiny island, while the ocean extends in all directions beyond the horizon of physics. So what does that make us, fragile creatures on a pale blue world, circling an unexceptional star, lost in a galaxy among trillions? It makes us astonishing. Against impossible odds, matter taught itself to think. Atoms became cells. Cells became minds. And those minds looked back at the universe that created them, and asked questions. We wonder where we came from. We wonder what else exists. We wonder if somewhere, far beyond the limit of light, other minds stare into their own sky and ask the same questions we ask here, now. If they, too, feel small, and yet full of wonder. Are we alone? Or is intelligence a melody the universe plays more than once? Even if we never hear a reply, the asking itself matters. Curiosity is the spark of our species, the engine that built telescopes, spacecraft, mathematics, music, language. It is the reason we exist at all. We are the universe becoming conscious. We are stars that learn to question the dark. And as long as we keep searching, as long as we lift our eyes to the night sky instead of lowering them, the story is not over. It is only beginning.